Hey everyone, welcome back to Retrospect. I'm trying recording with my Blue Yeti microphone right now, so maybe we won't get as many of those annoying camera zoom sounds. So small bits of news. Um, last week I had surgery, which was minor surgery. Um, I had uh, some cysts on my ovaries that uh, the doctor removed. Um, might be endometriosis. I, <laughs> I don't know. I have to wait for the follow-up in July to find out, but um, I'm recovering well. I've got little, they did laparoscopic surgery, so just little holes. In, they went through my belly button and then two small holes on either side. So I have three little incisions and they're healing. Uh, still a bit painful, but I mean, as far as surgeries go, this is pretty minimal when it was day surgery, so I didn't even stay overnight. So yeah, that's the one thing. And then the day after my operation, when I was at home recovering, um, my grandma died. She'd been in hospital for three weeks, four weeks, and um, she was just not healthy. And I'm, I'm sad, but it's kind of a relief because she was in a lot of pain. So yeah, we just had the funeral last night. Yeah, so it's been a bit busy. It's been a bit topsy-turvy. Scott and I are doing well. Scott is no longer working behind me. He has a new job uh, downtown Toronto, so he's commuting there instead of working from home. And I think he likes it so far. It's only been, um, it's been three weeks, but he took some time off when I had my surgery to help me recover, which is nice. Um, so I'm the only one working from home now, so it's kind of quiet. Um, yeah, so I thought I would just show you more pin trades that I've done. Um, <laughs> in theory, I'd like to make more videos around art again, but um, just pins have been kind of my fixation lately. I've always liked pins, and I'm sure I'll still be into them, but it's been like fever pitch level of pin fanat 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 fanaticism. That's the word I'm going... Oh, I'm having a brain fart. Fanaticism. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, the first pin trade I'll show you um, is actually this. So, I made this. It's like a, it's a prototype of um, just a little pin banner. I just made it out of some scrap canvas that I had from when I used to make paintings on raw canvas. Which I never do anymore. But um, yeah, scrap canvas lying around and I just sewed it by hand. I found some dowel rods in the basement and just some random twine. So you can see the stitches are not even. My mom's sewing machine died a couple years back, so I might have to borrow my mother-in-law's one. But I want to make a couple of these and sell them at um, the Pin and Patch Expo and maybe in my Etsy shop. Nothing fancy. Um, this one doesn't have any embellishment on it, but I might put like, I might just like do little paint stencil shapes or like little embroidery things. I'm not really sure. But I thought this was a good place to put the pins from a pin trade. These are all by the same artist. Um, Netherway Workshop. It's, I think it's a couple, or at least it's two people. And they're really sweet. And well, this one, Map Queen. I mean, come on. I had to get it. I am the nap queen. This one's called Death Before Decaf. And it's really cute. I didn't realize it would be that petite, but I like the size. I'm not a coffee person, but I am a tea person, and tea has caffeine in it, so I guess it still applies. And then these cute explorer ones, and the little pencil, and the bullet bill. This one, the bullet bill is soft enamel, but it's nicely done. It works with the design. I'm coming around to good, well, it's good enamel pins, right? Like there's bad hard enamel pins, just like there's bad soft enamel pins. So it just depends on how the artist works with the medium. Anyways, okay, so that's the first bunch. I'm gonna try to be faster than previous videos. So here's my little bucket. I've got more pins to go through, so I'll go from the back. 
So I ordered this one from Illustrator Jake uh, a while ago, and it took a while to get here. I think it came from England. I don't remember. But I've had my eye on this one for a while. The only thing is I didn't realize it was going to be this big. If I had seen it in person, I might not have gone for it as much because I think it's, I think it would do better smaller, but it's still really cute and got lots of nice little details. The screen printing on the block and the piranha plant are nice. And I just like the mashup of Kirby and Super Mario. The backing card is big and it's really pretty and nice, nicely printed. The next grouping I'll show you is from Jojo Tamago, and she is in Singapore, I believe. And she recently released a series of three little dinosaur babies. And I traded for one of them. This guy is so cute. This little squishy guy. Yeah, nice, clean, elegant design. And then I saw she also had these two, Nope Dog and Yak Hat. And I like the bold graphic style, bright colors. I just thought they were fun and cute, so got those. I like the Yak Hat's hat better, but I like dogs better. But they're both really cute. Then I traded... Oh, okay, so here's one's just a one-off. So I traded with Tokyo um, Shoujo. I think she's Canadian, but she lives in Japan most of the time. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But she traded with me for this really cute little cat. Um, it's rainbow plated, rainbow metal plated. And I, I don't know, it's like it's smooth. It might be epoxy coated. There's a bit of screen print. But it seems pretty flush, so I'm not sure if it's got epoxy to raise it up because you can't do soft enam or you can't do hard enamel with the the rainbow plating. That's what I've been told, anyways. Turned out nicely. Yeah, and it's smaller than I thought. So the Illustrator Jake one is bigger than I thought it would be, and this one is smaller. But it's cutie. I like that one. Um, yeah, I got a lot of cat things. This. Uh, this batch of trades, even though I'm not a cat person, I still appreciate cute pins. These are a pin trade from a fellow Canadian. Um, she's in one of my pin pods too. Her name is Joshmu, um, and she did this very, very beautiful, clean, elegant toucan named Toulouse. And as soon as I saw her um, mock-up for this pin, I was like, yes, I need. I just love that bright blue and the simple clean lines and the backing card is beautiful lovely bright colors and then I saw this on her way back on her feet and I thought oh such a little cute pupper so I did get I did get a lot of animal pins dogs and, and cats and toucans so yeah he's just little black nickel buddy very tiny and, and derpy and cute it's a similar size to the cat, you'll see. And then this big boy, they could be in this world. Anyways, so those were from Jush, Jushmu, Jushmu. I don't know how she would pronounce it. Um, okay, next we have, I'll show you these ones. So they just came in the baggie. They're from a Kickstarter by... Imuyu. I've gotten pins by her before. I think her name is Emily Her or something like that. Imu Her. So it was Evie Lucian's um, stylized in sort of Japanese ceremonial robes or something. And this is Umbreon. I liked the design. And then each pledge came with a free pin. But I know she had a lot of trouble with her manufacturer. <laughs> The, um, it was delayed a lot because the first batch of these ones especially looked like soft enamel. She was super disappointed. Um, so it took a while to get them remade. And they were supposed to be hard enamel, so you can see they're hard enamel now. But, yeah, a lot of tricky business with the manufacturer. But I just, I don't ever like to say bad things, but I think this one turned out kind of poorly. It's just not... 
it's not very clean the lines aren't very crisp and her design was beautiful so I think in this case it might be the fault of the manufacturer but I can understand not wanting to ask them to remake and remake and remake and delay it for your your backers that's a lot of stress plus just like going through the tedium of trying to negotiate with your manufacturer and a lot of the time manufacturers will not want to remake designs because it's bad business for them you know they lose money every time they have to remake it so they they find ways to put artists off of things like that so I'm sure she had a lot of stress going through those but the designs are very beautiful okay so moving on here's another trade from another Canadian and she's also in my pin pod one of my pin pods and she did I'll show these first a trio of Zelda pins which are just very nice clean designs she did two versions of the fairy in a bottle one with blues and greens but uh, I was drawn to the pinks more. So we've got the little fairy in the bottle. And again, her backing cards are beautiful too. They're not... Backing cards aren't a deal breaker for me. But, I mean, I do appreciate nicely designed ones. So there's that boy. And then there's a nice little master sword. Shaped like a little sword. And I like... I think this one might be my favorite of those three. The angry cuckoo. And it's got screen printed black on the eyes and the beak. And it's really nice clean little pin. Nice use of the gold metal and the line work is really pretty. I think her style is really nice. So I like that one. And then I got this little Pikachu buddy. And he's super cute. But he's very cute and chubby. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, so this might be the last... Yeah, this is the last little bundle. So, these are all from Studio Hagby. And she's in the Philippines. And she's so nice. So, she sent me... I just got these yesterday. This little package. And, first of all, it's got more kitties. But they're just so cute and the silk screening on the eyes is so nice. I think they're really cute. So I just had to get those. Um, she also sent me some adorable little sloth, grumpy sloth stickers which I'll have fun with in my planner. And then she's got this series of, I don't know what she's calling the series, but they're like procrastinators. Unite, like procrastinators, um, artist pins. So this one is called The Laws of Procrastination. And there's lovely screen printing details. And I just like books. And I like book pins. Very pretty. She has two colorways, the blue and purple. And then she's got a red one. But I was drawn to the blue. And she said she only had seconds left. So she gave me seconds pins. But, like very hard to tell where the flaw is um, so that one's probably my favorite of this set but they're all really nice and this one is deadlines motivate me which is true I do <clears throat> I do find that deadlines help me focus my thoughts a little better another pretty one um, no silk screen details on that one but doesn't really need them <clears throat> and then the last one is I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. It's I'll do it later, tomorrow, next year, never. Sounds about right. And it's a little clock with sort of whimsical clouds and more silkscreen printing on the clouds. And they're a decent size too. You know, not too big, not too small. Very pretty little pins. Oh, and then I guess I should show you my pins. Um, so I got my pins, these were a test of a new manufacturer, and they're my snacks pins. I got a gold variant and a black nickel variant, and they're, they're the ones that went on those tiny little cards. Let's see. The pins themselves aren't super small, but the backing cards are. I think I packaged them all away, so I don't have any that's out, 
Well, I'll show some pictures to show better detail because it's got the plastic on. But they are in my Etsy shop now and I'm really pleased with them. I think I'll be using this manufacturer again for stuff in the future. Yeah, that's all I've got for trades. Um, like I said, it's been a busy week, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm over the hump of all the chaos, so that's good. Settle into a bit of a rhythm now. Um, what with Scott going back to work and stuff, and the funeral and surgery being over, so should be things looking up from now. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video will be a little shorter than my other ones. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!